This is your LA in a Minute, and today I want to talk about the history of Trader Joe's. Although Trader Joe's was not officially founded until 1967, its origins can be traced back to the Pronto Markets chain of food stores that were started in the late 1950s. Pronto was actually part of the Rexall Drug Company, who wanted to expand from drug stores to convenience markets. They hired a 26-year-old named Joe Coulomb to head up the new division. For the next eight years, Coulomb expanded Pronto successfully, but an up-and-comer named 7-Eleven was cornering the market. They were planning to put Pronto out of business. Rexall decided to get out of the convenience store industry, leaving Coulomb with a choice, either bail out or buy the chain. He took a vacation to the Caribbean to clear his mind and came back with a vision. He would buy the store and completely remake the chain. Now that Caribbean trip wasn't just for R&R. &R. While he was there, he figured out a few things. One, consumers were becoming increasingly educated and sophisticated. Two, jumbo jets were finally becoming ubiquitous and fares were plummeting, meaning people were traveling more and experiencing more exotic foods. And three, the South Seas motif was a huge fad in the United States. And in a nod to the wildly successful Trader Vicks in Beverly Hills, he sported the name for his new market, calling it Trader Joe's. His first location opened in Pasadena in 1967. It was an upscale food market convenience store with hard to find and exotic items. The plan was to open future locations near educational centers to capitalize on the earlier ideas. Also, the liquor business was super robust, especially as an early purveyor of value-oriented, trendy, hard-to-find beers and wines. One of the most successful tactics by Trader Joe's was to introduce the Fearless Flyer, which was originally called the Trader Joe's Insider Report. At one point, they were printing 850,000 copies per week, focusing on environmentally conscious issues as they began stocking vitamins, biodegradable products, and health foods. The chain by that point had expanded to more than 20 locations. In 1979, Trader Joe's was purchased by German billionaires Carl and Theo Albrecht, who also owned the immensely successful Aldi discount stores in Europe. The company retained Coulomb as CEO. At that point, it was game on. The company expanded its footprint to Arizona, the Pacific Northwest, and by 1996, the East Coast. By then, Coulomb had retired and been replaced as CEO, but the company still had the highest sales per square foot of any grocer in the United States. There are now 552 locations in 43 states, with 14 in Los Angeles. Trader Joe Coulomb passed away in 2020, but the chain is stronger than ever, carrying forth his value and vision. So next time you have a glass of two-buck chuck, pour one out for Trader Joe, and remember it all started in L.A.